Why is English grammar like working for Stephen? Because English grammar has no future. Angela is demonstrating the famous English sense of humour. What she wants to say is there is no grammatical form in English to talk about the future. Look at these. The plane leaves at 9am tomorrow. I'm leaving at 9am tomorrow. I'm going to have dinner with Angela this evening. I will see you tomorrow. The plane leaves at 9am tomorrow. The simple present in English is to talk about things the speaker thinks don't change. The speaker here thinks the plane is definitely going to leave. They think it's a fact that doesn't change. School begins on the 12th of September. The party begins tonight at 9pm. In every case, the speaker thinks these are things that won't change, so they use the simple present, even though they're talking about the future. The present continuous is used in English to talk about actions that have begun before now, are happening now, and finish after now. I am leaving at 9am tomorrow means I've begun to leave, I've packed my bag, I've checked in my ticket. The best example is a hot date. If you've got a very important appointment, even if it's in the future, you're thinking about it all the time. You take your suit to the cleaners, you get your hair cut, and you're, you're thinking, oh, just another three days, 49 minutes, and 15 seconds, and I'll be with her. So you've already begun the hot date long before you meet the person involved, and you use the present continuous. I'm leaving at 9am tomorrow. I'll pack my bag. I'm meeting Peaches in two weeks. I'm going to get my hair coloured blonde. I'm going to get my suit pressed because I'm beginning for the meeting already. I'm speaking in the European Parliament next week. I'm preparing my speech at the moment. But these are actions that have begun here in my head. Going to. I'm going to meet Angela for dinner this evening. Going to indicates that I have the intention of meeting Angela this evening. It's difficult to see the difference between the present continuous to indicate an action that's begun in your head and going to to indicate an intention. But when I say I'm going to have dinner with Angela this evening in a quiet little restaurant near my house, it means that's my intention. But if Angela says, Sorry, I have to wash my hair. I was going to have dinner with Angela, but she's got to wash her hair. So I'm not going to now. Going to indicates the intention of what's going to happen. I will see you tomorrow. Will is not a future form. Will indicates you're not sure. My wife will be in Spain by now. Your wife will be angry that you invited me to dinner. Will indicates I'm not sure, but what I think is going to happen. And obviously when we talk about the future, we're not sure, so often we use will. But it's not a future form, and it's not the only form to talk about the future in English. The plane leaves at 9am tomorrow. I am leaving at 9am tomorrow. I'm going to have dinner with Angela this evening. I will see you tomorrow. All these forms talk about the future, but they use different grammar to express different levels of certainty. The plane leaves at 9am tomorrow because I think that's a fact. I'm leaving at 9am tomorrow because I've begun to pack my bag, I've done my check-in, I've begun to leave. I'm going to have dinner with Angela tonight because that's my intention. Well, not mine. I will see you tomorrow means I think I will see you tomorrow. But in English, there's no tense dedicated to the future. 